waiting for an elevator and this one says priority service. And we're not sure what that means, but a glass elevator. Is it empty? Yep. An empty elevator. Where are you going? Eight? Yeah. This is an interesting sculpture. This is the most scenic washi washi I've ever partaken in in my life. Look at this atmosphere being provided during my washi washi. <laughs> the breeze is so good. Are you ready to go? Let's go get some food. The grab and go section. Soup of the day. I don't know what the heck a Royal Kamalwek sandwich is, but we're gonna find out when the crew member comes back. Can I have one please? Just plain. Thank you. We got a Royal Kamalwek sandwich, which is really just roast beef. But it looks really good. Literally, Casey has a rainbow on her face. Do you see that? It's kind of hard to tell. The rainbow's right there, too, but it's just going down her face. I'm a magical human. That's true. We got some live music on the pool deck above us. I think we're going to go visit Jed real quick, get a drink, maybe go stop at Cafe Promenade, go back to the room and chill. Who knows? So much we could possibly do. We'll have to stay tuned to find out. We have a lot going on tonight. This sandwich, it was so good. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10 because it was cold, but 10 out of 10 because no, it was so 8 out of 10 good. because the name was really weird. Yeah, they called it the Royal Kummelwick yeah. sandwich. And I like, was like, how am I supposed to know what that is? Yeah, I was like, is it beef? And the guy was like, yeah. I was like, okay, I didn't know that. So now I do. It was so good. Oh my gosh, so good. Very good. So. Like Matt just said, we're gonna go see Jed at the scooter bar. Let's go see Jed. Bad news. Jed gets off in five minutes. No! Poor, poor planning. What are we gonna do? Still go to Cafe Promenade. Maybe what? we'll see the arrow swing with the harmony of seas orchestra and high seas horns. Where does Jed go next? Nowhere until 6.30, so we have a long time. Let's go to Cafe Promenade and see if they have any fun desserts. I need a cookie. I haven't had a cookie in like three hours. I'm not sure why they have like literal Taylor Swift glasses here, but they do. Super random, but I kind of dig it. There's the Rising Tide Bar and every time we walk by it, it's either all the way up or all the way down and we're on the floor that it's not on. But it goes all the way up to Central Park and then lets you off there and then takes you all the way back down. And it's a whole bar. You see it moving very slowly. Formal night. Everybody's formal dressed night. up. We're gonna do it. We're getting on the Rising Tide Bar. Thank you. Thank you. We're on the Rising Tide Bar waiting for it to rise. And there's a live quartet playing in the promenade. The Rising Tide Bar was supposed to lift up at 5.15. It's now 5.30 and we haven't moved. And there's no crew member on it. They all want to go restock the bar, which is fine. But keep that in mind if you're in a hurry to dinner. Like, don't get on this really quick thinking it'll just go off. You can get off and go to dinner because we're still waiting, which is fine because we have nothing to do right now. So I'm enjoying this. I like the live music. It's not always here, but later at night it's here. And it's a vibe. I'm digging it. Goodbye to the band. We've moved up and now we're in a wall between 
Cafe Promenade and Central Park. And we're almost to the top. Pretty cool. It actually moves a lot faster than you would think. It does move a lot faster. It's only been like maybe five minutes. Yeah. When you look at it, you know, while you're not on it, you're like, oh, that's so slow, but it's pretty quick. I can't really feel it. It's so smooth. Yeah. It's kind of funny. We're going like this and like this at the same time. We're almost at the top already. It lets you off in Central Park. Wow. It's that a vibe. Really quick. And you can stay on. Like, you can go back down if you want to. Do this all day. Refreshing. It's like a freaking Coke ad. Bye. Just like that, we've made it up to Central Park. That was less than 10 minutes for sure. That was nice. It was so cool though. I like this. Especially with the music. The music helps. Oh yeah. It's vibey. The vibes are immaculate. We're getting off. Do you want to go out that way? Can you go out that way? Yeah, probably not. We're getting off this way. <laughs> and just like that, we're back in Central Park. Hey, I just met you. In we're sitting in the Aqua Theater waiting for the Aqua Show to start. It's called The Fine Line. We made reservations for the 8.30 show. And I'm so excited. Because this is like the coolest show on the ship. And Matt has not seen an Aqua Show yet. So I'm excited. It's gonna be good. The Aqua Theater is basically empty right now, but this place is about to be packed. But the vibes here are immaculate. 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to watch the high dives. Matt's never seen this, so he's in for a show. I got a virgin strawberry decorate. Good? I love it. We're about, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes till showtime. I just wanted to show you my fun drink. It's a virgin strawberry daiquiri. You can definitely tell by the blue. It is pink, I promise. I don't like cherries and they give me three cherries. That seems like an excessive amount of cherries for a drink. <laughs> they really said get over it. It's good. Something's happening. The floor just fell through and a pool has been exposed. And I'm so excited. How much longer? 16 minutes. It's filling up quick over here. It's very blue. <laughs>
That was the coolest show I've ever seen in my entire life. The best part of every day is coming back and finding a compass for tomorrow so we can look at all of the activities. We just go back from the Aqua show. What did you think? Listen, I don't care who you are, that show was so cool. And it was well worth getting there early, even though it was like 40 minutes of waiting. It went by really quick. You can get some drinks, people come up. And uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, you gotta get a good seat, right? You need to be close and just don't sit in the splash zone because you get soaked. Splash. You, get <laughs> you will get wet. Yeah, but man, that was arguably the coolest show I've ever seen. So cool. Yeah, awesome. That was the coolest show I've ever seen in my life. Like, I literally have no words. That was awesome. It was like, I'm somebody who needs to be stimulated in shows at all times, otherwise I get really bored. Like I, I can't watch movies. I have to be like so entertained to be entertained. And that was, oh my God, it was amazing. It was incredible. It is so humid outside. Ignore my hair, but um, it like, it was just, it was the coolest show ever. Like anytime you had a second to breathe, somebody else would pop out of somewhere else. Like the high divers and the aerialist and the, the so what's it called? The synchronized swimmers. It was, oh my God, it was so cool. So cool. Highly recommend. You you should get there early if you want to sit up close. Like Matt said, the splash zone, it's like a soak zone. Like you will get soaked. And they no. purposely are kicking the water at you and stuff. It's not like an oopsie splash. It's like a yeah. ha ha splash. Yeah. And I don't think that the kids sitting up front, it was mostly kids because it's formal night. And I don't think that the kids realized how soaked they would really get. And when the performer started, the kids all screamed because they were yeah. drenched in the first minute. I saw a girl run away crying, so yeah. just put that in the perspective. <laughs> yeah, um, you will get wet. So, it, oh my god, that was the coolest show ever. It was, oh, it was awesome. They're so talented. The choreography, the music, it just, it was non-stop. It was amazing. There was always something to look at. Oh, it was awesome. Like, it's gonna be hard to, like, see a normal show after that, but... Wait until you see me dance. It's gonna be hard to see another show. <laughs> It, it was good. Uh, so now I'm so like overstimulated and awake now, even though I'm exhausted because we did so much today, we're going to get pizza. Hopefully. Sorrento. What do you mean hopefully? Because that place is packed. It's a sea day and there's 6,200 people on board according to the head chef. So there's a lot of drunk people and drunk of... people love pizza. And I'm a sober people and I love pizza too. Let's do it before we uh, miss our opportunity. So we're gonna go get Sorrento's. Pizza time! Let's go. <laughs> oh, I almost fell. Sorrento's dance. Oh my god, my hair. Do the Sorrento's dance. Sorrento's, oh my god, my hair. Sorrento's, Sorrento's, Sorrento's. Does I have a dance for like, Oh my god, my hair. Sorrento's. Sorrento's, Sorrento's. Uh, five? Five. We came downstairs for Sorrento's, but I don't even know if we can go to Sorrento's. Because there's live music going on. That's fun. But I kind of want Sorrento's. We found Sorrento's. Why do they have ketchup and mayonnaise here? They sell pizza. Hey, don't judge. Is that for the pizza? Thank you. Thank you. Pizza! Hi. It's crazy down here. We're gonna take our pizza back up to our room and then order room service because we can. Hey Matt, 
Yeah. Give me a beat. Yo. There Yo. once was a man on um, Harmony. He was taking pizza back to his balcony. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My expectations were so low. They were the lowest they've ever been. <laughs> and that actually was pretty good. You found a way to make Harmony go with the balcony and like, on the fly. Great work. I'm good at what I do, man. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> Maybe you won't say anything, but you will wrap it. That was something. There once was a man on the harmony. He took pizza back to his balcony. They were sitting there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's exactly what you done. We're gonna go back to our we'll room. Just take the W and walk with it. We're gonna go back to our room, eat our pizza, and order room service. Yeah, because why not? Room service, because it's open 24 hours a day, and because There's we can't. Nothing else open. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sorrento's Cafe Promenade and room service. Sorry, room. Yep. It didn't work the first time. Room service with Matt. Hi, uh, can I get uh, two tomato soups, two grilled cheese, uh, buffalo chicken wings, chicken tenders, two lemonade, and then two apple juice, and a chocolate cake. Okay, cool, thank you so much. Bye. Wait, did you want anything? <laughs> I forgot to order for myself. We got pizza and a cool view. I, I thought you said a coffee. I was like, what are you, New York? <laughs> it's super humid, so the lens is fogging up, but our view is superb. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for today. We had delicious room service. We had a super fun sea day. We explored the ship, we ate some great food, we saw some great shows. It was awesome. But tomorrow we're gonna be in St. Thomas, so make sure you stay tuned for those vlogs. But for now, we'll see you in the next one.